And good morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope you're doing well. My name is Ken, and welcome to Ken in the Kitchen. This is the show where I am teaching myself how to cook and how to live stream at the same time. And uh, yeah, it's been interesting. So I only really started cooking a couple of months ago. Um, and so I'm, I'm really, all of these recipes uh, that you see me doing, I'm doing for the very first time in front of you guys watching this live right now. I have never made any of these dishes before. The only occasional exception to that is if I'm doing something involving baking, uh, just because of how much time baking takes, I will uh, of necessity then uh, make a batch of whatever I'm baking the night before so that I can take you through the process of how to do it, but then I'll have something <clears throat> finished. Uh, to present on camera and taste on camera. So, but other than that, it's it, this is the first time I've ever done any of these recipes, and uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been an adventure. Uh, watch the deviled eggs one if you want to see things go uh, go a little off the rails. Uh, but that being said, it's been fun. So I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone had a really good weekend. If you're new here to the show, I can see your comments in my monitor. So go ahead. And, uh, and just say hello, let me know where in the world you might be watching from. And while you're here, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, go ahead and like the page, uh, open and shut reviews. And it's named that because I can't change the name because Facebook won't let me change the name of the thing. So dumb, but that's Facebook. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I hope everyone's doing okay. Had a pretty good weekend. I got a lot of, uh, a lot of experimenting with different uh, camera stuff for this for the stream, so that was fun. And uh, spent a lot of time playing a, a video game on PS4 called Hitman 2. I'd never played it before a couple of weeks ago when my friend Sean introduced me to it. That is a... Uh, boy, that game, it just sucks you in. I, I, I can't stop playing the thing. It's great. Uh, so yeah, anyway, today's dish is something I just hadn't heard of, uh, chicken fried bacon. What's not to like about that? I love chicken fried steak, not as much as Karina. Karina, that's probably her favorite breakfast food of all time is chicken fried steak. And so uh, when she was helping me find recipes for the show, she came across chicken uh, fried bacon, and so got to get chicken fried bacon on the map here. You and Hitman need a room. <laughs> Not quite that uh, that good, but it's, it's it's so much fun, Sean. It's so much fun. Can't thank you enough for introducing me to that game. <laughs> it's, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so today, um, bacon. Chicken fried bacon is the plan. Let's go ahead and go over to the uh, prep camera. And we'll see what we are working with. So a um, couple of things here. Obviously, we're going to have egg in this bowl for a dredge. Uh, we have some uh, garlic powder onion powder, and uh, paprika. Now, the recipe actually calls for smoked paprika. I did not have smoked paprika, so this is just plain paprika, no, no smokiness about it. I don't think it's gonna matter that much to the overall taste unless you are particularly fond of smoky flavors. Otherwise, I don't think you'll, you'll miss it. So uh, I do need to get my milk and uh, milk and uh, cream. So let me grab that real quick from the fridge here. Where did I put my milk? All right, so here I've got the heavy cream. Oh, I see that my my picture-in-picture -picture camera just went nuts. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I, this was an experiment, so that's not a big deal. 
We'll take that out. Uh, I'm gonna just have to wait for my wired connection, I guess, for that, but no big deal. All right, so now let's get the milk. And Karina makes a point of incorporating a little bit of uh, heavy cream into her recipes whenever she can. So um, this recipe calls for half a cup of regular whole milk. And to that, I think I'm going to add just a tablespoon of uh, of heavy cream. I don't know that it's going to, you know, make the batter any tastier or stick any better. But what could it hurt? And, you know, who doesn't like heavy cream? I'm losing my brain today. Okay, sorry about that. I was just <laughs> kind of spaced out for a second. All right. So, one tablespoon of the heavy cream. There we go. Put these back in the fridge. What would gravy recipes be without heavy cream? Oh, and by the way, I'm, I'm openly ad admitting that I am cheating today cheating today on the uh, gravy. I'm going to use the packaged gravy, but that's that's just what I want to do. There is part of this recipe, and I will post a link to the recipe, of course, down below. Um, actually includes instructions on how to make a, a country gravy, but uh, again, for the sake of time and uh, my own sanity, just going to use the packaged gravy. So we've got our one egg that it calls for. We go. So we've got the egg and then the milk and cream mixture. And we will go ahead and just whisk that up. This bowl is really shallow might not have been the best choice to try to whisk this together in this very shallow bowl. Could be. Oh, I'm doing actually an okay job of not getting it all over the counter. So that's good. Okay, that uh, went better than I thought it was going to in this very shallow bowl. All right, so then the next part here is, let's see, I've got to mix. So here's the flour, and uh, that's three quarters of a cup of flour. And the, the garlic powder is a teaspoon, the onion powder is a teaspoon, and then the paprika is half a teaspoon. So you're supposed to mix all of this together now. So we'll just put this stuff in the bowl. Wow, that, that paprika. <laughs> Whew, you can smell that. Just go ahead and tiny whisk that together. And like so. Okay, so I think that's probably pretty good. All right, and now I need to get a uh, paper plate out here 
and now we've got to dredge our bacon. Now this recipe calls for a uh, thick cut bacon and normally I would say you're free to uh, make substitutions on things but uh, for this you probably want to stick with thick cut bacon because I don't know I need new scissors. These scissors are awful. They barely cut anything anymore. It's so frustrating. Um, that's okay. All right, so. Ah, there we go. All right, so we've got our bacon. And now we're supposed to dredge each strip of the bacon and the egg and then flour and then set aside. So here we go. Oh no, the strips of bacon are longer than I thought they were because they're folded, as it turns out. Okay. So I'll we'll have to do that. All right, so dredge in the batter. Let's move these out of the way so I can get this closer. And then dredge in the flour. And then shake the excess off. Set aside. Let's try that again. But yeah, the thick bacon I think is essential for this to be a battered and fried dish. I don't think you would do as well with uh, with the thin strips of of bacon. That most people. Oh God! I just did the thing. I was trying to avoid getting club hand, but then I, I screwed up. <laughs> All right, let me salvage this here by rinsing and drying my hand off. Okay, now I've got to chop some more, or cut some more bacon. This is going to be yummy. I mean, who, what's not to like here? This is bacon breaded and fried. How could they possibly go wrong? Oh, bacon smells so good. I mean, I understand that some people uh, want to be vegetarian, uh, but you're missing out. There's nothing like bacon, and there is no fake bacon product that comes close to the real bacon. Not to say there aren't good veggie alternatives for some things. I mean, we love, uh, what's that brand, Morning Star Farms. I mean, they are just amazing at uh, making, you know, burgers, burgers, air quotes. So, all right, I'm just going to do the four slices for now. Uh, and I need to turn my oven on to warm so I can keep... keep the bacon hot. So now we've got to, uh, let's see here, we've got to fry the bacon. So we're going to, <laughs> I'm scared of frying after what happened with the fried deviled eggs, but I'm going to try to uh, do better. Okay, just a little bit here. We don't need she said, she being Karina, said we don't need a lot of oil for this. And remembering that our stovetop runs hot, 
I'm going to start this pan out a little lower than maybe I would normally. Show her <laughs> we get healthy recipes. Cut to today fried bacon like you couldn't have gone more in the opposite direction. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, I will get back to uh, whoops I am not doing well at all here there we go <laughs> I will get back to, uh, to to doing healthier recipes I promise um, yeah I did kind of drop the ball on that a little that's okay So, Sean, good to see you this morning. I didn't expect you would actually be watching because uh, I thought today was probably going to be your bi-weekly shopping trip. So that's cool. Glad you were able to make it for, uh, for bacon. Because bacon is bueno. And again, if you are watching for the first time, I can see your comments in the monitor. Uh, so go ahead and say hi and let me know where you might be watching from in the big wide world. Let that heat up a little bit more. Ah, man, I miss going out for breakfast. I've got to see if any of my favorite restaurants here in Reno are open with the whole pandemic thing. Uh, because I really do miss going out for breakfast. Uh, it's my favorite, favorite meal of the day. I've been trying to think up some healthy recipes that would be interesting. Um, a lot of healthy recipes don't really take a lot of prep time and they're pretty easy. Uh, I don't know that people would find that entertaining or not. I'm joining you for your one hour sanitation fest 2020. That's the worst part about grocery shopping now, isn't it? Having to bring all of the groceries into the home and then disinfect them before you can put them away. That is, I'm looking forward to a lot of things. Uh, getting to a stage where we don't have to disinfect our groceries, I'm probably looking forward to that the most. such a pain and I get it I totally understand the reason for it and we do it because we're taking this seriously but uh, yeah what a pain in the in the rear all right let's see how our oil is Still warming up. I noticed the water didn't splatter. So thanks for your patience, everyone. I'm, I'm just really paranoid with, uh, with hot oil after the deviled eggs incident. Seriously, deviled eggs. Ugh, fried deviled eggs, but they're so good. But yeah, now I'm, now I'm jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. like a sizzle yeah I think that might be ready okay all right so here we go let's go ahead and uh, I was wrong that's not hot enough well Oh, there we go. That's better. Now, this is supposed to take approximately five minutes. See if that holds true or not. I guess I'll start a timer and kind of keep an eye on it. 
as we're doing this. See how it goes anyway. Well, it's, it's sizzling. It sounds and looks pretty good so far, I think. Ah, oh, the smell of fried meat. The smell of fried meat is so good. Love it. And yay, bacon. Now they do note in the recipe, which again I will I will put in the description box down below, uh, that depending on the thickness of the cut of your bacon, the cooking time is going to vary uh, slightly. That's why they don't really give you uh, an exact cooking time, which is fine. Mmm. <sighs> Mmm, there it is, fried bacon. And this seems to be a really simple recipe. It's not really meant as a main course or anything. It just, I, I was intrigued, okay? Because who doesn't like fried bacon? Or battered fried bacon. Yeah. Oh, yep, I'm smelling it. It's, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that on that side for a little longer. So now I am going to be making gravy in this pan here, but again, uh, for purposes of time, I am cheating and I'm just going to use McCormick's gravy. And while I'm mixing the gravy up and uh, that's coming together. <laughs> I'm not making those kind of noises. <laughs> no. Sean, you're you're silly. You're a silly person. All right, let's flip. Oh, it's starting to smell good in here. It really is. This is going to be good. This is going to be nice. Excited. On Wednesday, my recipe is going to include anchovies, which I know are a very divisive food. I, at one point, decided that I loved them. And I made the mistake of basically eating a whole jar of anchovies packed in oil. And even after shaking the oil off the anchovies, there's still a, a good amount of oil on the fish. And that much oil in my uh, guts, there were problems later in the evening. Don't do that. The, the moral is do not eat the entire jar of anchovies. No matter how delicious they might be on a cracker with cheese. Mm. All this needs now is some eggs. We had eggs yesterday, though. Yeah, eggs are Eggs are one of my favorite foods too. One of my favorite foods to cook. All right, I think this is probably pretty close to done, although I do like my bacon pretty crispy. So I think I'll, I'll flip it one more time and let it go for a couple more minutes. Because again, I really do prefer my bacon crispy. Uh, floppy bacon, not good. I don't 
like bacon that's floppy, I don't like it chewy, that's just meh. That's the timer. And we'll go ahead and let it go for one more minute. Mmm. This smells amazing, guys. Really, really does. And we are spoiled for choice now in this day and age, aren't we? With uh, with the variety of bacon that we can get at the store, just the regular store anymore. Good man, crispy is for pod people. That doesn't make sense. I meant floppy bacon is for pod people. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, floppy bacon, man. I don't. That's 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 definitely how you tell that uh, that they're pod people. I agree a hundred percent. All right, it's so smelling wonderful. Now, granted, this is going to be a little chewier, I think, just by virtue of it uh, being breaded. But, uh, oh, oh my gosh, this smells good. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be so good. Okay, uh, so now let's swap out pans. I'll let that grease cool so I can put it into a container. And I'm going to go ahead and put the bacon, which is on this plate here, onto a baking sheet and then put this into an oven that's just set on warm. So to keep that all good. Okay, so now the easy part, should be the easy part is uh, the McCormick mix, we need two cups of cold water. Okay. So let me rinse out my measuring cup here. Because we don't really need any milk ling lingering around. Two cups. Okay. That's a little more than two cups. Okay, so there's two cups of water. Okay. And we need... Okay, so it's supposed to be on medium. And the trick, I guess, is to slowly add the water for the purposes of the gravy emulsification. All right, so here's the mix. Can you tell I'm new? I'm like sweating. I'm, I'm worrying about how to <laughs> Mix packaged gravy, Ken. Jeez. Told you I'm a kitchen noob. All noob. All right. So we'll just add a little bit of water here. Start stirring. And I get the appeal of making your own gravy. I mean, for years when I was growing up, uh, Christmas meant going out to my grandparents' ranch and grandma would 
they would always make this huge breakfast for the family. And that always meant, you know, homemade biscuits and gravy. And her gravy was always good, always amazing. Ah, and I just flung it everywhere. Oh, Ken, you are the sloppy chef. <laughs> wow, okay. Let's try this here. So I guess the real question is Tabasco or no Tabasco for your eggs and your gravy and what have you. Two cups seems like a lot of water for this, but maybe not. How would I know? I don't cook. I guess you want your gravy to be a little bit on the thinner side. Man, yeah, those are the days. Christmas morning breakfasts. So good. And then after we unwrapped presents, usually the day would, the rest of the morning would be followed with uh, playing games of cribbage with my uh, grandfather. Because he was very much all about, he could just whip everybody a cribbage. It was ridiculous. I miss that sometimes. Okay, this is starting to look good to me. I don't know. Oh, whoops, I guess I should shut off my timer. I don't really need a timer anymore. Let's move this over here so I can do this. There we go. That's better. Almost done, guys. Thanks for your patience. I think this is going to be pretty darn good. Like I said, I'm new to all of this. I think this is probably the first time I've actually ever made even packaged gravy. I'm not even kidding. So yummy. So good. All right, I think that's close enough. I like my gravy on the thicker side, so I don't think I'm going to use the full two cups of water. We still have just over a third of a cup left. Like I said, I really do like the thicker style gravy anyway. Alright, so we'll let that uh, thicken up a little. Turn the uh, heat down. Actually, I guess I could just pull it off the heat entirely because we are going to plate up right now. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Switch this back here. Okay. Reclaim our bacon from the oven. This is good looking stuff. Definitely happy with this. Okay, uh, where am I going? I need to sit the pan down. It's not like burning hot or anything. I just had it in a warm oven, but still, I don't like the idea of putting it on a, a countertop even at that stage. Okay, um, 
got that. Let's go over to the prep cam here. We can move this out of the way now. Ta-da! Bacon. And I didn't put down towels underneath, so it's kind of greasy on the plate. That's, that's my bad. Okay, for future reference, for all of you who probably know better, because you're probably not a kitchen noob, uh, the oven's only warm. It's not going to set paper towels on fire. You can go ahead and put paper towels down on the plate to uh, soak up some of the grease. But that doesn't matter anymore because we are now ready to introduce... <laughs> the gravy to the breaded and fried bacon. And I'm trying to do this like they showed in the picture on the website. So I'm not just going to smother it so you can actually see the bacon underneath the gravy. I'm going to taste the gravy real quick because I think salt might be called for. Mm. Yeah. Yep, just a little bit of salt. But uh, that doesn't surprise me because Karina and I are all about salty food. And you would think there's probably enough salt in the McCormick packaging, but you know, it's us. And I know the bacon's salty too, so. All right. Um, here it is. Let's go back over here real quick so you can see. That is chicken fried bacon. And I don't know about you, but I think this looks really good. So let's go ahead and give it a taste and see how see how I did here. <laughs> Why is this not on every menu in America? Seriously, why is this not on every Denny's menu, every Cracker Barrel menu? Maybe it isn't Cracker Barrel, I have, I have no idea, but wow, this is amazing. This is a fantastic way to eat bacon. I mean, bacon is already amazing. You put breading on it, and it's just, it takes it up to an 11. Mmm. That is crazy good. And you know what? I, I imagine it is entirely amazing. It's even better, I'm sure, with homemade gravy. I'm positive of that. I love McCormick's because they they make really good, ready-to-go um, sauces and spices and such. But I can totally understand why you would want to make gravy gravy from scratch for this. Wow. Mmm. Hi, Paul. Um. It's just white gravy mix. Where'd the thing go? Did I already throw it away? Nope, here it is. Sorry, it's uh, it's just McCormick's 
white gravy mix. So the recipe that I uh, am posting in the description down below is uh, <clears throat> it does include making country gravy from scratch. I just, for the sake of time, um, went with a packaged white country gravy. Uh, but yeah, so I, I dipped the, the bacon in, uh, I battered it, you know, just a regular flour and, and egg batter, and then fried it up and then poured the gravy on it. <laughs> and fried bacon is my new favorite way to eat bacon. Wow. That is so good. Can't eat that more than once a year or I'm definitely going to have coronary problems by the end of the year. So good. All right. That's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun doing this. Totally worth it. The link to the recipe is down below. You, uh, try it. Honestly, try it. If you do make this yourself, um, I would love to see... Um, your results. So go ahead, follow me on social media. All my social media links are in the description down below here on YouTube, uh, as well as on Facebook, if you're watching on Facebook Live. And just uh, just tag me in your photos so I can see them, because I would love to see how things work out for you, especially if you actually follow the entire recipe and choose to make your own gravy, which I was not brave enough to do today. <laughs> so that'll be another show. All right. Take care, everybody. I will see you right back here at 930 a.m. Pacific time on Wednesday. In the meantime, be safe, wear your masks, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and uh, I'll see you all later. All right. Take care, everyone.